All right, so this video I'm going to talk about um, collision detection in game programming. Collision detection uh, is very important in game programming. It's used when two objects in the game collide, and you need to detect when this collision happens so that you can act accordingly. So you can see here that I have a basic program here. It has a draw class and a rectangle class. You can see that I create two rectangle objects at the beginning of the program, and I set its initial value here to 0, 75, and 775. You can see in this class that it, set, it sets its starting x and y, and you can see that every time this move method is called, this x moves from 0 to 700, and then from 700 back to 0, and it'll keep going from the left of the screen to the right of the screen. So obviously one starts off at the left side, one starts off at the right side, and you can see every time I'm calling the move method here in action performed, which is running every five milliseconds. So whenever I recall repaint, then this uh, rectangle gets re redrawn at the new position. So I'm going to quickly run this, and you can see that uh, the program comes up, and we have two rectangles that collide constantly right in the middle of the screen here, and that's when we, when we want to be able to uh, detect the collision between these two rectangles. So I'm going to use uh, uh, something in Java called uh, the class rectangle. So what we want to do is we want to, in this paint method, we want to go if collision, then we want to g2d dot draw string, and we want to write on screen, we want to write collision at uh, 350.50, for example. So we want to write this collision if we have a collision. So first of all, we need a Boolean for a collision. And we set this initially to false. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the Java class rectangle. So I've already imported it here, so java.awt.rectangle. So what we can do is we can get the coordinates of this of both the rectangles on the screen. So basically, the Java Java has a class called rectangle, which takes as constructors its x coordinate, its y coordinate, and its width and its height. So you can see here, I can make a method called public rectangle. See how it's going to return a rectangle, and I'll call it uh, bounds. Now bounds is going to return your uh, your coordinates of your rectangle as a rectangle so you can see I can go return new and I can go rectangle so I'm creating a new rectangle now we need its x coordinate its y coordinate its width and its height so you can see here that it's easy to see its x coordinates y coordinates is the same as the ones up here its width is well we know we know its width they're both the same it's 150 so we can put 150 here. So now we have a new rectangle created and returned on the same line. And this rectangle has an X and a Y, which keeps changing through the program. So we can't write it here. So we just write an X and a Y, and it has a size of 150. So in here, we're going to uh, now we want to get that rectangle's uh, coordinates, and we want to check if the two coordinates intersect because if they're intersecting then the two uh, rectangles are colliding so here we want to create another method called public void uh, collision and we want to check if there's a collision in this method so in our a collision method we're going to create a new rectangle so rectangle and we can call it uh, rectangle one is equal to now we're going to get the rectangle from rect one dot get sorry rect one dot uh, dot bound okay so we're gonna get that rectangle from sorry bounds we're gonna get the rectangle from the other class so it's gonna return a rectangle with its coordinates and it's right now this rectangle one is storing the coordinates of rect one so we're gonna do the exact same thing with the other rectangle because remember we have two rectangles this one's gonna be rect two dot bounds now all we want to do is we want to check if the two intersect. So Java has something really convenient for this. We can just go rectangle one dot intersects rectangle two. So if this is true, then that means they're intersecting. That means they're colliding. We want to make collision equal to true. And if it's not true, then else we make collision equal to false. Okay, now every time that we, will, we want to check this, we want to run this method every time in our program. So every five milliseconds, this gets run. So it's, it's uh, logical that we just put collision in here, right? So then it's, every time it moves it, it's going to check the collision. Right after it moves, it's going to check the collision. 
and if there is if the two rectangles are intersecting so the, this is the bounds of the rectangle if they're intersecting then we return uh, the rectangle into this rectangle and then we check if they intersect and we set collision to true so now we can just uncomment this code and we'll see that it's going to work because the collision is going to be printed if the collision variable is true so the collision variable will only be true if the two intersect we run the program here and we see that right in the middle we see collision written at the top of the screen here and that only happens when the two rectangles are colliding right in the middle of the screen here so that's uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you this is basic collision detection now keep in mind that I use this uh, rectangle class as uh, as my um, my checking for collision because they are rectangles Java also has a lot of other classes that you can use such as the circle class but Keep in mind that when you're drawing or when you're making game programming in Java, then you'd often want to use the rectangle class because it's the most uh, convenient. Because even though you have a shape or a picture on screen, it's actually just a rectangle. So you can just use the rectangle class in it. All right, so that's basically what I wanted to show you, and that's pretty much it.